so i feel like the quality on my camera didn't do me any justice <laughs> because i actually look cute today kind of i mean like i mean i'm normal cute but like so yeah i'm gonna definitely put this in the video and then the rest of the video just listen to the message okay thank you bye bye f people get money good morning youtube and welcome back to another boss up series with your host of course me <laughs> but not for real so this um episode of boss up series is going to be a little different it's not going to be a one-time thing though it's going to be something that i do regularly regularly on this channel um i'm gonna try to not have a long drawn out intro <laughs> but um when you think of boss up we're always thinking about like status or money or even looks but through this course and through this journey and over the past month i've realized that it's not just about that it's also about your mental health your emotional health and just your well-being in general and that's something that i want to bring you will basically address in this video i want to address that bossing up is not just about financial gains like think about it you can't sit here and be wealthy if you're not wealthy within yourself if you're not healthy within yourself and i can honestly say that i i was not i'm not gonna say i'm not now because now i'm actually aware of what i lacked and where i was as far as emotionally and mentally but like i was just at a very low point <laughs> and it took me really honestly like losing something that i felt was very important to me for me to realize that i've lost myself and um like <laughs> how do i say this it's okay like we are put on this earth for journeys we are put on this earth for a purpose and you can't allow things in your life that might seem very big i'm not gonna say that it's not like whatever you're going through is big to you it's big to you know it's just big to yourself so it's big it means a lot but you can't allow that to hinder your growth you can't allow that to stop you in your progress and through this series i really want to hit all those aspects i want to hit bossing up on a financial level i want to hit bossing up on a spiritual level i want to boss up on a mental level emotional level i just want to boss up in all aspects of my life and i feel like i deserve that like sometimes you know you might lose a job that doesn't does that determine your worth you know like you might have a breakup you might um be at odds with friends or family in your life you might just um just lose something you might just lose something there was a lot of things that i felt like i was gonna accomplish by this time at the age of 23 and i have not and i was just beating myself up about it i was just constantly beating myself up constantly 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 and on top of that with my severe anxiety which we're gonna discuss about too because i don't want people to feel like anxiety means stop anxiety does not mean that you have to sit there and just dwell in just your anxious just feels and anxious vibes and anxious like thoughts like it's not the end of the world like it's just not but you just have to realize that some things happen for a reason and some things are put in your life to make you go harder and um over this past like i can say month or two i've realized that i've realized that i am the one stopping myself like i've realized that crying and being depressed and sitting in my sorrows and not basically bossing up was my fault like it doesn't matter what goes on in your life like yeah you have time to feel and yeah you have time to cope and yeah you have time to basically just be 
with that but it's just like at one point you just have to wake up you just have to really just tell yourself that I'm better than this I know what I can accomplish I know what I can gain I know what I can just I know what I can do with my life and like nothing should stop that everything happens for a reason any like anything that seems detrimental right now I promise you will change you it might you know make you sad it might make you mad it might make you just want to freaking scream but it's okay like be okay you know be okay and even with being okay sometimes it's okay to not be okay but it's not okay to dwell in that like you have to just grow you have to keep growing you have to keep growing you have to keep growing i am finally at a state and finally at a point in my life where i realized that i'm my problem i'm my biggest issue and once i conquer that everything else in my life will seem more at peace it will seem more realistic it will seem more at my grasp you know like it will seem more like it's i'm able to conquer it and that takes a lot you know it takes a lot for a person to really like realize that you know that's the place that they are in their life sometimes it takes a lot to just realize like hey i'm not okay and that's okay but you can't stay that way and i guess that's really the point of this video like bossing up is you can't just boss up in certain areas and think that you're a, you're a boss because you're not like you have to be happy you have to be at peace with certain things in your life you have to accept certain things in your life and you just have to know that regardless of what goes on i'm gonna be okay and um another thing that i'm gonna add to this boss up series is um at least once a month i'm gonna conquer certain things that i feel like i've been holding myself back from and it might seem a little crazy but i'm gonna take you guys on that journey i'm gonna take you guys on that ride just to show you like honestly probably give you some courage because the stuff that i'm afraid of and the stuff that i have doubts about and the stuff that i feel like i can't overcome might honestly really seem crazy and i mean like that's just how the mind works like your mind can really make you so small your mind can really make you feel like you can't accomplish anything and that's not the case like you have to stop listening to that thing in your head and you might feel crazy and that's okay you might feel anxious and that's okay but you have to overcome it so what i'm gonna do on this series is focus on the financial aspects of bossing up focus on the mental aspects of bossing up focus on the physical spiritual and definitely a big one for me emotional aspects of bossing up i want to be that person not only for the people in my life that i feel deserve it but for most like most importantly for myself i deserve it i deserve to not be able not <laughs> i deserve to not keep allowing myself to hold myself back i'm a very adventurous person i'm a very fun person i'm a very happy person and i honestly have not been that way for a couple of years now and i can honestly admit that i can honestly admit that yeah anxiety plays a big part in it but that's only in my head and i'm not please believe i am not downplaying anxiety i have severe anxiety i was diagnosed i believe it was my sophomore no my freshman sophomore year of college i've always dealt with anxiety but not to that extreme so i know you know <laughs> like i know it's hard but it's life and unless you want to live your life in a bubble like i have been doing you got to get over it and that's just what bossing up is about getting over obstacles so back to the whole point of this when um at least once a month i might i might do a little more but at least once a month i'm gonna conquer a fear or a doubt of mine that i felt like i would just be able to avoid for the rest of my life and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take you guys on that road with me i'm anxious and by anxious i'm turning that into a positive thing i even went to therapy like that was something that i never thought that i would have to do like as far as like my emotional and mental like health like i've never really like looked at myself as a person to go to therapy and it honestly was the best thing in my life but one thing my therapist did teach me was that i forgot <laughs> i 
literally forgot that quick. But anyways, one thing that my therapist did teach me was like, this person's really gonna stare at me while I'm recording. Like, okay, like you can keep walking. <laughs> one thing my therapist um did teach me was that like, I'm gonna just exit that out. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> That lady really did just mess my whole vibe up. Like, she's literally, like, I'm in my garage, if you can't tell. I'm in my freaking garage. And, like, I'm recording, and the setup looks really weird. I'm not even gonna lie, it does. But she's, like, just literally walking past me, like, staring. Not not on some, like, oh, what is she doing? Or, like, oh, cool, a camera. She's looking like this. Like, dang. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna take y'all on this journey. There's a lot of things that I've been avoiding, one particular thing is traveling i love going places i love making new experiences i love different things but as far as like my fear of planes <laughs> yeah um i have a really big fear of that so yeah in the next couple of months i will be getting on a plane and i have not been on a plane in like seven years so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna make that happen um it's a lot of other little things i don't really want to say it right now because y'all not about to clown me until i actually do it but there's a lot of other things that i'm gonna be doing just to like not necessarily prove to anybody but to prove to myself that i can do it and to prove to myself that i'm a boss ass bitch and yes that was profanity but that's really how i want to feel about myself i want to feel like i'm that b-i-t-c-h like i want to really i want to be that person again and not even again i don't want to be the person that i once was yes i was i used to be happy i used to be that go-getter type person but no i want to be different i want to be that person that i know deep down in my heart that i'm destined to be and i'm going to be that and i'm excited and I know I always say I'm excited, but I'm serious about this. This boss up journey is not just... I literally sat there and talked like this the whole time. Oh, is my ring in? Okay, my ring is in. But yeah, so that's just... I guess my camera wanted to say that I was done talking. Um, I hope the quality of the video isn't going to really disturb that much. And I hope the way I look isn't going to really disturb that much. I thought I was cute, but the camera says otherwise. It's like my head was just like this the whole time. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm hoping that I'm not doing that right now. But I mean, that was me holding my head up high. So yeah, but let me just end this with saying being anxious is okay. Being a little sad and depressed is okay. Like we all go through it. We all go through those moments, but they should only be moments. It should not be a lifetime. Being just in a place where you just feel like you just need a break. That's okay. Like all of that is okay. And like I'm telling you from experience and if you deal with anxiety if you deal with depression if you deal with any type of mental health I don't even want to call it an issue but any mental health like thing don't be afraid to reach out to me I love talking I love talking about it I love expressing it I love just speaking to people who are dealing with the same things that I'm dealing with because it helps. It helps to know that you're not by yourself. It helps to know that you're not crazy. It helps to know that you're not the only person. Why is she passing by again? This time she's not looking so... Well, she did a little bit, but whatever. Um, Just know you're okay and you will get through it. And I'm going to show you. If you need me to be that person to show you, I will show you. I'm going to show you... Y'all are going to laugh at these fears I'm conquering. Like, I might actually have to conquer one this weekend. Ooh. I might have to conquer one this weekend. And this one that if you know me, you know I do not F with this. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <gasps> Big girl on three. One. Wait, hold on. One, two. Yee. Bye, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. And don't be afraid to reach out to me. My Instagram, my Twitter is going to be down below. If it gets really bad, you can even get my number. Because, like, I know it's hard. Like, those nights at 3 o'clock in the morning when you just cannot sleep, I understand it completely. Like, do not be afraid to hit somebody up. And also, before I go, I started journaling. I always write, but, um... I'm actually about to journal in a way that I am comfortable with. And journaling does not have a limit. You can, if you like to draw, you can doodle while you're journaling. I used to be a rapper. 
and a poet <laughs> so i'm turning my like my just my sadness my happiness my anxiousness all that stuff i'm turning it into words that flow words that i can just sing to a beat you know when well, i sing but like you know flow to a beat with so that's what i've been doing it says just a phase i got it from uh marshall's it was 6.99 i love their journals i love their planners i love everything so even do that like write about it like if you don't want to talk to people because i'm at the point now i'm not talking to nobody else like i just don't want to like i feel like it gets boring and it gets tiring and people just get over it and like i can't really be upset at people for not basically being able to be there because everybody's dealing with their own stuff so it's like yeah i'm not talking to nobody no more i'm talking to y'all <laughs> but as far as me going through it like i have to journal and the only reason why i'm saying i have to journal is because i haven't met a person like me yet who's willing to talk you get what i'm saying like oh my friends have been supportive my friends have been really helpful but like i haven't met anybody who's really just a hundred percent just has been through what i've been through that can talk to me on a daily like talk to me you know the way that i need to talk to so yeah whatever i'm journaling but yeah don't forget like comment share subscribe who's calling me i'm scared this is the first time i didn't answer oh my watch where is it i hear my watch whatever bye thank you guys so much and um yeah stay connected like comment share this video this girl is on fire. Fire. <laughs>